So you are thinking about traveling Japan, but not sure which areas to visit. Well, let me help you with that, because today I am gonna talk about 10 best places to visit in Japan. That's coming right up. Hey guys, I'm Yusuke Nasu, and welcome to Japanese Quest. The channel that's all about helping you guys learn about Japan and enrich your trip. So you may be thinking Japan as a small teeny tiny country in Far East, but its actual size is this. Well, no wonder people struggle with their travel plan. Apparently the size does matter. Well, no worries. Today I am gonna tell you my most recommended 10 very best places from which you can choose depending on your interest and the length of your stay. So here we go! If you are coming to Japan for the first time and have only one week or so, then you should consider one or two of following four places. Number one, Tokyo. Tokyo is the capital of Japan and the world's most populated area. This lively metropolis shows you the high-tech visions of the future, side by side with glimpses of old Japan. Akihabara district has been famous for many electronics shops and now is a mecca of anime and manga culture. Shibuya is the center for youth fashion and culture, along with shopping, dining and nightclubs. Asakusa, where an atmosphere of old Tokyo still survives. Ueno Park, filled with top-notch museums. When you are tired of busy city life, Mount Takao and Shinjuku Gyoen serve you well. So basically, Tokyo has something to offer for every traveler. If you don't like what you see, you can hop on the train to the next station and you will find something completely different. Number 2. Kyoto If you are interested in history, temples, Zen culture and such, the old capital Kyoto is your promising destination. Arashiyama is a touristy district with bamboo forest and monkey park. Fushimi Inari Shrine the most picturesque shrine with thousands of Japanese Tori gates. Kinkakuji, a Zen temple covered with gold. And beautiful nature such as sakura in spring and foliage in autumn. If you want to immerse yourself in Japanese culture, Kyoto is the best place to do so. Plus, I live in Kyoto, so you may get to meet me. Number 3. Osaka. Osaka has a history of serving as the nation's kitchen, so this is the best place for food lovers. The city is as lively as Tokyo, has excellent shopping options, and filled with the most friendly people of Japan. Osaka Castle is a landmark of Osaka that houses a museum about the castle's history. Dotonbori is a popular destination for shopping, entertainment, and food. Shinsekai, a nostalgic district famous for Osaka specialty, Kushikatsu. Denden Town, an electronics district comparable to Tokyo's Akihabara. Kaiyukan, one of Japan's most spectacular aquariums. One common phrase I hear a lot in Osaka is I love this food, but I have no idea what I'm eating. Welcome to Japan. Number 4. Hiroshima You may know Hiroshima for the horrific event where the first atomic bomb was dropped. Well, lo and behold, about 70 years after that, Hiroshima is now a modern cosmopolitan city with excellent culture nature, and cuisine. Peace Memorial Park and Museum document the atomic bomb 
and its aftermath. Miyajima is a small island outside the Hiroshima city and is most famous for its giant Tori gate on the sea. Shukayan is a beautiful Japanese garden, well worth a visit. Last but not least, try Hiroshima's soul food, Okonomiyaki. It's a Japanese pancake made with various ingredients, and the best place to experience that is Okonomimura, a building that contains over 30 Okonomiyaki restaurants. Oh, are you visiting Japan for two weeks? You must love our country! In that case, in addition to the four places I have mentioned, I would suggest you take excursion to Kamakura, Nikko, and Nara. Number 5. Kamakura Kamakura is popular for dozens of temples and its beautiful beaches. You can find the famous bronze statue, Great Buddha. Hokokuji Temple houses lovely bamboo grove. Hasedera Temple offers an excellent view over the bay. Enoshima, a popular beach destination with a laid back surfer vibe. Kamakura is just one hour away from Tokyo, yet it guarantees you a relaxing day trip. Number 6. Nikko Nikko is a small town to the north of Tokyo and has a deep connection with Tokugawa Shogunate in Edo period. Toshogu is the burial place of the first shogun, Tokugawa Ieyasu, whereas Taiyu Inbyo is for the third shogun, Tokugawa Iemitsu. Kamangafuchi Abyss offers a pleasant walking trail. If you have more time, you can stretch your trip to Okuniko, where beautiful lake, mountains, hot springs, and waterfalls await you. Number 7. Nara Nara was the capital of Japan in 8th century. The city flourished under the influence of Buddhism, which led to the creation of numerous cultural assets, many of which are still preserved today. Todaiji Temple is home to Japan's second largest Buddha statue. Isuyan is a spacious Japanese garden near Todaiji Temple. Kasuga Taisha, Nara's most celebrated Shinto shrine. And Nara Park, the central city park home to adorable deer. If you want to enjoy nature and culture both at the same time, Nara is the city I recommend most. You are staying for a month? Well, you must be an expert traveler. Well, in any case, let me briefly introduce Hokkaido, Okinawa, and Takayama. They may be a little bit hard to navigate, but it will be totally worth it. Number 8. Hokkaido. Hokkaido is the northernmost of Japan's four main islands, and its unspoiled nature attracts many outdoor lovers. Hokkaido is vast, and I can't cover all in this short video, but let me just mention some of the best places. Sapporo is the main city of Hokkaido. Furano is famous for beautiful fields of lavender. BA is surrounded by picturesque landscapes. Niseko is a leading snow resort, while Noboribetsu is a famous hot spring resort. Asahikawa offers the famous Asahiyama Zoo. Number 9. Okinawa Okinawa is the southmost prefecture of Japan, consisting of 160 islands. Its surrounding seas show you beautiful coral reefs and marine wildlife. Consequently, scuba diving and snorkeling are among Okinawa's top attractions. 
Okinawa Main Island offers cultural Shuri Castle, lively Kokusai Dori Street, and beautiful Jerome Aquarium. But Okinawa's true gems are hidden on the surrounding islands, such as Iriomote Island, Ishigaki Island, Miyako Island. Number 10. Takayama. Takayama is famous for its well-preserved area with Edo-styled streets. Takayama also has amazing day trip destinations such as Shirakawago, a historic village famous for the unique style farmhouses. Kamikochi, a popular hiking spot with mountainous scenery and undeveloped nature. Okuhida, a hot spring destination that offers many attractive outdoor baths. If you think you have seen most of Japan, then try Takayama and you will be wowed. Okay, that's it for today. There are so many other places I want to introduce, like Atami, Hakone, Nagano, Fukuoka, Yakushima, Koya. The list goes on. But when I have to choose the very best 10, these are the places I recommend you the most. Thank you for watching Japanese Quest. If this is your first time here, I would like you to subscribe because I want to share the beauty of Japan and help you enrich your trip. If you are already a subscriber, thank you always and see you in the next episode.